Hey guys, so this is gonna be a slightly different video, but basically I'm going to walk you through an entire instrument approach coming into New Orleans. Now, as you can see, we're starting above the clouds and I just got cleared for my initial descent. So I am in contact with air traffic control. Unfortunately, my audio cable was not plugged in properly, so I don't have any of my radio calls, but don't worry, I'll walk you guys right through it. If you're new here, in short, I'm a pilot. I have my instrument rating, about 1,250 hours of total flight time and I make videos about all of my trips. The guy sitting in the co-pilot seat is actually my dad. Some of you may know him as Pops and we're gonna go land in New Orleans for the night because I've done about 15 hours of flying in the last few days and your girl's getting a little bit tired. So without further ado, we're gonna start descending through those clouds. I don't have to worry about icing on this flight because it was 60 something degrees, which was one less headache for me to have to deal with. And I'm gonna be flying using my instruments. The reason why instrument flying is so important is you completely disregard how your body tells you you are sitting, how you are feeling. Sometimes you can be flying straight and level and for whatever reason, the equilibrium gets messed up and you'll feel like you are in a straight up turn. Getting your instrument rating teaches you to ignore those feelings and fly based off of what your instruments are telling you. I also have some backups just to make sure everything is looking good. If you look closely on my windshield, you can see we went through a little bit of precipitation, but really not too bad at all. So, so far the flight has been very enjoyable. As we continue this descent, you're gonna see Pops and I are working together to make sure that we are both feeling safe and comfortable at all times. I'm also still making those radio calls with air traffic control, and if anything comes up, I can easily let them know if I've got a problem or if I need anything else. Here, if you look closely on that iPad, you can see we are briefing our approach plate. This tells me exactly what waypoints to fly to and what altitude I need to be at when I get to them. Here in just a minute, this is going to make you guys laugh, I'm sure. We are actually going to pop out of these clouds and we can actually see the runway. So at this time, I had a choice to make. Did I want to continue on the instrument approach or did I want to cancel and try to go visual so I could turn directly towards the airport? I decided I would rather log the approach and so you're going to see us turn the complete opposite direction to get into sequence to come into land. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, there was literally a line of airplanes waiting to come into land at this airport. And because of that, I got another 30 minutes of flight time. So, hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. We're gonna listen to some tunes for a little bit, but I'll talk to you guys as we get closer. So one thing I really want to point out is if you remember I was telling you guys when I got the airport in sight I was already thinking about trying to go visual. I'm really glad that I didn't. These clouds that I'm flying in right now were only reported as few and scattered and they definitely got a lot thicker and a lot lower the more that I flew. As a VFR pilot, visual flight rules, I would have to stay 500 feet below the clouds, 1,000 feet above them, and 2,000 feet horizontally. And in the current conditions, that would have been close to impossible. So I'm really glad that I stayed on my IFR flight plan. Here you can see we're just double checking frequencies, our altitudes, and making sure we're as prepared as possible for as soon as we get cleared to turn final. Okay guys, so Pops just hit the approach button for me. It was still a little bit bumpy, so shout out to him. And we are starting our turn for final. So I'm actually flying to my final approach fix. This is where I'm gonna configure to land. We're flying right past downtown New Orleans and you guys can see the city, look at how nice. And I will be switching frequencies to talk directly to the control tower here at the airport. Shout out to Pops for getting this cool shot. There's the runway and now we're lined up straight for it. So I'm just gonna continue my descent down, making sure everything is remaining in the green. I'm feeling comfortable. And as soon as I get to that final approach fix, I'll turn my electric fuel pump on, landing light on, mixtures full rich, primers in and locked, flaps are as necessary, and here we go. 
I brought my airspeed down to 105 so I could put my first notch of flaps in. At this point I've reached my minimum so I'm going visual. Well, I was aiming to land on the thousand footers, but I ended up touching down a little bit past. Still not too shabby. 